This is NBC News at Sunrise with Ann Curry. AT&T has put a satellite into orbit. It was carried into space last night by the Atlas 2AS, which launched from Cape Canaveral. This is General Dynamics' newest and most powerful rocket. It can carry 15,000 more pounds of cargo than any other Atlas rocket. Minus 45. Status check. Propellant. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go Centaur. Pneumatics. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Mark sequence start. Mark. Okay, I'll be armed. Hello, two vent closed. Ready, Jack? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready. Minus 11. It's 11 seconds. Here we go. 10. I'm Steve Rodinero. This is 2 News at 11. Thanks for joining us. Well, this wasn't your father's Atlas rocket, as the commercial line goes. A bright, noisy, and historic launch rocked the Space Coast tonight as General Dynamics staked the claim to leadership in the commercial launch business. A redesigned Atlas carried a new communication satellite its manufacturer says will in itself launch a dramatic overhaul of the American television business. This is high-stakes stuff for Central Florida. 2 News' Elaine Highness has the story. We are engine ignition. A fiery ball of fuel boosted the Atlas rocket into the clear night sky. The ignition could be heard, felt, and seen for several minutes into flight. The reason was clearly visible, as the solid rocket boosters fell like shooting stars. This was the first time solids were used on this, a newly designed Atlas rocket. And given rocket maker General Dynamics' track record for having to destroy Atlases that veer off course, this was a significant successful mission was very important for us to get this launch off and uh, show that the, the new configuration of Atlas would do the job. And the job it was doing was significant. The payload is the first of some 700 new communication satellites that are expected to revolutionize the TV industry's ability to beam syndicated and network programs all across the country and to Puerto Rico. It will be used by PBS and classrooms nationwide. Because of the kind of satellite this is, the schools will be able to access that programming much more cost-effectively. The National Transportation Department agrees this was a very significant launch as U.S. rocket makers continue to compete with their European counterparts. This uh, last eight days has been extremely important. We've had uh, two commercial launches uh, in that period of time. First time this has happened since the uh, U.S. commercial space launch industry got underway in 1989. And the significance of this launch was not lost on the men and women who pulled this one off. Elaine Hines, 2 News. Eight, seven, six, five, four. We have engine ignition. We have uh, a rocket lights uh, up the rocket night sky over point. Florida. It's an Atlas rocket carrying a Telstar satellite into orbit. Very, very nice. It will increase Five the number of telecommunication nice satellites for us Earthlings who want to reach out and touch someone. Yeah, I'm just thinking, how many times do we have we run video of somebody counting a liftoff? And you just keep waiting, one day they're going to mess it up. You know, three, two, what's that, six? This is CNN. We have engine ignition. 
We have uh, two solid rocket boarders at this point. It's General Dynamics, newest and most powerful rocket blasted off from Cape Canaveral, Florida, carrying an AT&T satellite into orbit. Satellite will relay television programs across the United States. The launch was originally scheduled for Tuesday, but was delayed by bad weather.